In this video, we're going to go over um, the Young's modulus of different orthopedic materials and also viscoelasticity. Now, the examiner may ask you to explain the relationship of uh, different materials, Young's modulus. Uh, now, you're not expected to know the exact value of the Young's modulus of the material, but you do need to know the relationship uh, of the Young's modulus between the materials. Now here we have the same stress strain axes that you'd normally draw for your stress strain curve and uh, the the gradient remember is the Young's modulus and the stiffened material the steeper the gradient. So the stiffest um, material that we normally use in orthopedics are ceramics. Uh, next would be cobalt chrome. Then we have stainless steel, then we have titanium, then we have cortical bone, then we have bone cement, then we have polyethylene, then we have cancellous bone, then we have tendon, and the most shallow uh, gradient would be cartilage. Now, as I say, you're not expected to know the individual values, but you need to know this relationship. The reason this is important clinically uh, is it explains the, um, the principles of modulus mismatch. Um, now, when you have modulus mismatch, i.e. a mismatch in the Young's modulus, you have a stiffer material, so for example, stainless steel on cortical bone, the higher the modulus mismatch, the more likely that the stiff material will bear um, the, the, the load uh, of the forces going through the bone. Now, the reason this is important is because if you have that scenario, you'll, you'll, you'll see stress shielding which is why you, you will typically get more stress shielding in implants which are stiffer, such as uh, stainless steel, compared to titanium, which has less of a modulus mismatch. This is also the reason why you don't see cobalt chrome used in um, hip uh, stems, uh, and, and you're more likely to see a material such as titanium. Uh, because it has a more similar Young's modulus to cortical bone. Now, to explain viscoelasticity, viscoelasticity um, of a material is, is a characteristics uh, characteristic which explains that material has both it exhibits both uh, viscous and elastic properties. Um, this means that uh, it exhibits viscous behaviour which is uh, time-dependent and rate-dependent uh, properties, and also elastic behaviour, which basically means that the material will return to its original length once the stress has been removed. Now, to explain viscoelasticity, you really need to know about four characteristics of viscoelasticity. So the first is creep, the next is stress relaxation. The next is hysteresis. And the last is um, strain rate dependency or rate dependent strain. Um, so creep is, uh, so, so each of these you need to know how to draw a graph. Um, so for creep, you draw both your axes. So first of all, you have time on the x-axis and on the y-axis, you have uh, two parts of it. So you have the load up here and deformation down here. The reason you have two is because creep is defined as the time dependent deformation under a constant load. So for example, when you have a constant load illustrated by this plateau line, 
you have initially a deformation, but as time goes on, it continues to deform. Hence the time dependent deformation under a constant load. So this is constant. Stress relaxation is where the stress of a material gradually reduces under a constant load. So again, you have time on the x-axis and on the y-axis, again, you'll have load, but this time you'll have stress. So again, under a constant load, initially you'll have, once the load is applied, initially you'll have uh, quite a lot of stress in the material. However, over time, the material will exhibit less stress under the constant load. This phenomenon uh, explains, uh, you know, various things and it has various clinical applications, such as when you are uh, preparing the femur, for example, uh, for an uncemented stem, you, you hit the femur, but then you wait um, to allow the bone to stress relax, uh, otherwise you'll end up fracturing the femur. Uh, another example is when you uh, start to cycle the, uh, your, your ACL graft, and, uh, and, and as you cycle it, the, uh, your, your tendon graft starts to stress relax, um, and, and therefore you need to pre-tension it um, to ensure that it doesn't relax too much and stretch out your ACL graft. Uh, this also explains how uh, Ponsetti casting works uh, as you allow the tendons and ligaments uh, of uh, a club foot to stress relax uh, as you do your serial cast changes. The next thing I want to draw is hysteresis. Now this is defined as um, different loading and unloading curves of your stress strain graft of a material. And this means in a viscoelastic uh, material, it will have different loading. And then once it unloads, it takes a different path. And the area between the loading and unloading is, uh, it illustrates the amount of energy that is lost due to the internal friction of the material when it's unloaded. So this is loading and this is unloading. And this energy is um, often lost as heat due to the internal friction. The last uh, thing I want to draw is strain rate dependency. Now this is defined as um, the, the, the material having uh, a different uh, stiffness or a different strain depending on the rate of the load application or the rate of the stress application. Uh, the example I use here is, uh, imagine you have some plasticine and you, 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 you punch it and, and, you, and you, lo you load it very, very quickly. As your fist hits the plasticine, um, it, it's a very, very high rate of load application and therefore the plasticine will exhibit um, initial stiffness. So the plasticine might, the stress strain curve when you punch the plasticine may look like this. So this is high rate of load application. However, if you got your plasticine and you just gradually push your thumb into it, uh, illustrating a low rate of load application, it will take a different stress strain curve. So this is slow rate. Um, so it's the same material, but depending on how fast or how high your rate of load application, it will exhibit uh, different uh, stress strain properties.